Hey guys, and welcome to Game Jammin'. Today we are playing Parkitect. Um, what's important here is that there is a new update, I think it's Alpha 5, uh, that has added a major change to how the game works. Uh, it's um, okay, it's not a completely major change, but there's a new mechanic in the game that uh, can be used and you guys should be aware of. So today I'm trying to give you guys a little tutorial about how it works. Um, so as you see here, I set up a small theme park. There are no customers in here, and the only people that are walking around are the maintenance people I've already hired. Uh, and what's important here is you can see the icons above all the stores that says they do not have stock. So the big addition here is over here there's this building that is your stock, trash, and deliveries building. So if you see out in the front, look how it says deliveries. So what ends up happening is that you don't need to worry about this. This is where all the, where all the stock is going to go to and it's gonna end up right over here. So uh, there is a piping system that I'm gonna go over to go over in a little bit, but first let's just go over the basics. To get stock into your store, you can either get it to the front entrance right here, or you can get it to the back door. Now obviously, like to make things real simple, I'm just gonna go hire a worker, and the workers are the haulers. That's what gets the stock to your store. So I'm gonna bring a guy in, I'm gonna Use a little tweezers, pick him up. And what will end up happening is he's gonna walk over here, see the store, is gonna see some store that needs stocking, and he's gonna go pick up the materials. Watch, so he's picking up the material, and I believe he's picking it up for, let's go check what he's doing. He is picking it up, he's delivering cheese to the burger stand. So he can deliver to the front, which is fine, and, and it, it totally works. Also to note is that you can have the janitors, when they are picking up trash, they will also come back here. Now, yes, this is technically functional, but in order to, to fill up all these stores with all the different materials they need, it's gonna take a really long time. So you either have to hire a bunch of haulers, or you need another system for getting stuff around. And of course, the developers have thought of that already and come up with a very cool system to help us out. So let me go get that up. This system is using pipes and depots. So what ends up happening here, a depot is a location where you want someone to be able to pick up supplies from or drop off supplies to. Uh, drop off trash, I should say. Uh, so like, let's say for example, my park here, right? I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, show you what it, what it is. Uh, these are my, my four rides and all of my stores are over here. And as, as increasingly as these stores are further and further away, it's gonna be longer and longer to walk for the hauler. And I don't wanna hire 20 haulers just to get stuff over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some pipes and a depot behind here, maybe one or two of them. And then uh, that way we can connect to the back of these stores and fill up the supplies. So this store will kind of take care of itself, but let's go take care of these other ones. So I'm gonna add, we're gonna open up this menu. It is down here in the corner. We're gonna add a depot here and another depot right here. And then we are gonna add piping. So the piping attachment, you can see up here and you're like, okay, well, where do I attach it? You just need to go underground, hold shift, drop down a level, and you can see there's a little pipes connecting. This is where you need to start from. And what they've done is rather than give you a complex pipe to deal with, uh, everyone looks omnidirectional. Just, you just get close to it and it'll automatically attach. So I'm gonna drag it out a little bit here like this. And then we are gonna drag all the way from this guy. Ta-da, it's connected. And then this one right over here, same thing. We're gonna go boop, 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 boop. And look how it automatically connects the pipes. And just as long as the pipes are connected, you're good to go. It's kind of like uh, if you guys played the old SimCity and you're connecting the water pipes, same concept. As long as the pipes are connected, you're fine. You don't have to, there's no complexity to it. And all you're doing is making sure there's depots available. And so you're like, okay, well now there's a connection. Let's go back up to the surface here. I'm gonna click back to the depots. Don't need to do anything else with that. So now you're like, okay, well, what do the depots do? They're not doing anything by themselves. There's this add button that lets you pick the stores that get the stock for it. So for example, I'm so this store I clicked over here, I click this, and now it will get the supplies for this store. So I'm gonna do that for a few more stores that are right here. Oops, I missed. Let's get that, there we go. So the same thing, look at that. As soon as I do that, set it up. After the next update, all of a sudden a bunch of supplies are sitting here. Great. Well, there's no way for somebody to get to these supplies. That's not a problem. We can fix that. 
uh, what we want to use is the paths, and specifically, it's the employee paths. So we don't want our uh, we don't want our regular uh, people to be walking through there. We just want our employees to walk through here. So I'm going to create a path, and we're going to go up top like this, and I'm going to hook up these stores back here. Now you notice here that these stores. Uh, now this is again, I'm going to the back door because. Uh, that's the easiest way to do it, and that's the way to make it look nicer for everybody else, right? I can put some shrubbery here and cover that up, and no one needs to see it. Uh, but you'll notice that these stores over here still don't have access to the to anything yet. They'd have to like walk all the way around, or I'd have to connect here and let my haulers go. I don't want to do that. So what we can do is then create a path underneath. Wait, wait, there we go, like this. Wait, aha. And so now what I'm doing is I'm creating a path underneath. And I go like that. Ta-da! I have now created a way to get to the back door. And I'm going to do the same thing again over here. Uh, so let's go like this. Whoops. Well, that works too, I guess. Perfect! So now what I've done is I've created an exclusive entrance just to these stores from the back. And that way the hauler can do his work over here. Now the one problem is my hauler is... Somewhere over here doing work. Oh, there he is. Look at him going over there to deliver supplies. And I want the hauler to get back over here. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the, the tweezers to pick up the employee. Actually, tell you what. I'm going to hire another worker. We're going to get another worker. I'm going to put the tweezers so he's on this path. And then I'm also going to create a zone for him. So if you come over to this tool, the terraforming tool, there is a zones button, and it's actually really straightforward. You literally go like this. Highlight an area that you want your worker to stay in. So I'm gonna go like this, and that's zone one. And I'm also have to take care of these guys too, so I'm gonna do another one over here. We call that zone two, perfect. So now what I can do is come back to my staff management, go to my hauler, and I'm gonna tell this guy specifically, you stay in zone one. And then I need to set a path for this guy, so let's do this again. We're gonna do the example here. There we go, look at that. So we set up another path over here. I'm gonna turn this off. We are gonna create one more hauler. And we're gonna drop him off in this area. And we're gonna assign him to zone two. So what should end up happening here? Look at this. See this store? It is now stocked. So is the ice cream store. And if I look up, pay attention to my haulers real quick. One is delivering tea to bubble tea, which is right here. So this should get stocked very soon. And then this guy over here. Oh, wait! I, ha I have a problem here, guys. I forgot to fix up the store. So let's fix that one up real quick. Solved it. So now the supplies are available for those stores. There's the six boxes, there's other boxes over here, and the worker can do his magic. So I've come back over to my workers again. This guy is delivering popcorn to popcorn. Look at that, he's gonna come right up over here. And this guy is delivering ice to bubble tea. So he just dropped off some ice, and there's more stuff to drop off, I guess. Ingredients, oh, he probably doesn't have sugar or cups or something. Oh, look at that, you can even tell. Look, there's no sugar, so that's why he can't fulfill the order. So uh, that kind of tells you everything you need to know. Um, what ends up happening is each of the different stores has a different amount of stock that's required. So some things only require one stock, like the balloon stand. There's only balloons and that's it. Uh, other things have more complex ingredients, so there's more boxes to deliver. That's all. Um, what's also important here is if I create a path for the janitor to get through, the janitor can drop off his trash at the uh, depots as well. All right, guys, I wanna take a moment to point out uh, a, an important feature that's in the game that somebody may not recognize. Um, <clears throat> all of your workers have a tiredness level uh, that you need to pay attention to. If their tiredness, now, I'm, now this is on high speed, this is why they weren't walking so fast, but um, the more tired, if they get too tired, they will stop working. So if you do not have benches on the employee path where somebody is assigned, then they will just stop working and uh, and you'll be like, why, why is my stuff not getting filled up? Uh, so just pay attention to that when you're when you're playing the game. So see, he's chilling here too, and if you come back over the stats, it is dropping down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pay attention to janitor Laura Hunt and see whether she empties out the trash here. She ignores it. 
Come on. Come on, Laura. I believe in you, Laura. Gender to Laura. Anytime you're ready. Just get up to the trash can. That's all you have to do. Nothing back there. Don't worry about it. Just go up, man. Lady. Lady. I'm sorry. Okay, so maybe she'll try this here. Okay, she's going up. She's going up. She's thinking about it. She's going up. She's go oh, oh, oh! She just ignores the trash? Anytime. Come on, Laura. <gasps> she took it out! So she's transporting the trash. So let's follow her as she goes. Where will she take it? I believe she will be taking it to the depot. Let's see if we can watch the process. Bam! Look at that. Now, hang on. We're gonna double check what's happening here. There is now trash here. Well, I, that, that was always there. But I think this is signifying trash which just went through. And there is the trash process. So now we know. Wait, hang on. I'm going to zoom back out again. So I'm going to summarize this real quick. The depots are there for you to get stock to your stores and to take trash out. So what you can do is put employee paths to your depots. Uh, set it up to the, either the back of your store or have an employee path that goes to the front of your store into your trash cans and uh, Then they'll let the workers take care of themselves and That is the end of my tutorial. Thank you for watching uh, If you like this content make sure to give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it and uh, We'll see you guys next time Bye